Good morning students. In today's module, we will learn how to measure area by using grid square method. So, in a topographical sheet, we are often asked a question to measure area extending up to certain number of grids. So, in this module, we will learn how to measure uh, the area and we will start with a question. So, when we will see the question, then we will look for the answer and that will help us to understand the topic better. So, calculate the area enclosed between Easting 0, 6 and 11. That is here if we see the Easting, this is 0, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. So, starting from 6 up to 11. So, how many grids? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So, here the first 5 grids. And now let us see the northings. So, the northings are from 62 to 66. So, we will see the northings. This is 62, 63, 4, 5, 6. It is covering 1, 2, 3, 4 grids. So, these 4 grids here and this 5. So, let us see which is the common area. So, common area between them is, we can mark it here. So, this is the area. I have marked the area. It is between 6, 6 to 11. That is the easting and northern 62 to 66. So, this area... Uh, the, sorry, the, these uh, number of grids we have to find the area. So, students as we know that each grid square, this is a grid and each square is 2 cm by 2 cm. The length and breadth or the length and the, uh, the, length and the width is 2 cm by 2 cm. And uh, uh, the scale of the map is 2 cm is to 1 km. So, this is the scale of the topo sheets that we have to study in for the board exam for the topography course. So, scale in each uh, map is 2 cm to 1 km. So, 2 cm on the map represent 1 km on the ground. So, here also in each grid is 2 cm by 2 cm or 1 km by 1 km. So, if we take the area, if we calculate the area, area of 1 square will be 1 square kilometer. So, uh, we will learn more about it so that you can understand better. In a topographical sheet, each grid square measures 2 cm into 2 cm. So, this is the length and the breadth. Or 1 kilometer into 1 kilometer on actual ground. So, whatever this is on the map and this is on the ground. So, this is the measurement we have got according to the scale. When we follow the scale of the map which is 2 centimeter is to 1 kilometer. That is 2 centimeter on the map equal to 1 kilometer on the actual ground. Therefore, in actual terms, the area covered by each grid square is 1 square kilometer. This means 1 kilometer into 1 kilometer comes to be 1 square kilometer. So, area, the area of one grid is actually 1 square kilometer. So, each grid in a topographical sheet or extract is equal to 1 square kilometer. To measure the area, the region is demarcated first. First, we demarcate the region. The grids are counted. So, the number of grids, squares we count. And then the area is obtained by using the scale of the map. That is 2 kilometers to 2 centimeters to 1 kilometer. Let's see the map again. So, here we come back and we'll, uh, we have read the points. We will find out the area. So, as I told you just now. Each grid square, the area is 1 square kilometer. So, the number of grid square, we will multiply by it and we will get the answer. So, we will see the calculation and that will help us to understand the process. This was the question. This is where, where I have marked the area. Now, see the solution. Area, the formula is length into breadth. And the scale of the map is 2 cm equal to 1 km. Length, if we see the length, it covers 1, 2, 3, 4. 4 grids or 8 cm, right? So, each is 2 cm. So, 2 into 4 comes to be 8 cm. 
and if we convert it to the scale it will be equal to 4 kilometer so this is how we have got the this is on the map and this is on the actual ground now the length we have got now we will see the breadth in the breadth there are 1 2 3 4 5 5 grids so 5 grids 5 into 2 because each square is of 2 cm so 5 into 2 10 cm 10 cm if we convert it according to scale we get 5 km on the ground so the length on the ground is 4 km and the breadth is 5 km so 5 into 4 that is area is equal to length into breadth so length in length into breadth that comes to be 20 square kilometer 20 kilometer square so this is the area of this particular enclosed or demarcated region in the abstract of topographical map so this is how we calculate the or measure the area we can do the calculation in uh, in another way like area length into breadth length of four grids 8 centimeter breadth 10 centimeter area 80 square centimeters and according to scale if we convert we get the same value as we have got here so this is how we calculate the area just now we have seen how to calculate the area of a regular pattern but if we come across of uh, finding or calculating the area of an irregular feature on a topographical map extract so what to do so the process is first we will see the shape and then we will find out the full squares the squares which are complete so here we will count 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 and 11 so we have 11 complete squares in this irregular space so we have written number of complete squares 11 so students as we have discussed earlier area of one grid square is one square kilometer so area of 11 grid square would be 11 into 1 that is 11 square kilometer on the ground now we have taken the complete squares now we will take the squares 2 by 3rd squares so means it is less than uh, 1 means smaller than 1 square but bigger than more than half so let us see 2 3rd of squares so we will focus here we will find out 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 and 8 so we have got total 8 squares which are 2 by 3rd now we will multiply 2 3rd by 8 and we will get the value that is 5.3 square kilometer so area occupied by 2 3rd squares uh, is uh, 5.3 square kilometer and the area occupied by complete square is 11 square kilometer now we will see the squares which are half means uh, almost half of a complete square. So let us see. This is the first one. 1, 2, 3 and 4. So there are 4 squares which are half. 50% of the of 1 square. So we have done the process. We have multiplied by 4. And then we got 2 square kilometers. So this is the area occupied by half squares in the demarcated region. Now number of squares which are less than half. That is 1 by 3 of the square. So we have got 3. That is 1. This is 2. And students if you can see small areas are left out here. This I have counted as 1. So we have got 3. And the area comes to be 1 square kilometer. Now you must have a question in your mind that why did I take 1 for this. This is to bring more accuracy in the calculation. See students if you want your uh, observe or your calculation to be very very exact you have to use a graph paper. Even very uh, smaller portion of squares can be calculated can be taken and uh, added to the 
rest of the area with the help of a graph paper. But here when we are not having a graph paper, we are working on estimation because this is uh, why I am just, I want to tell you how we can calculate the area of a of a figure which is of or of an uh, object which is not regular in shape but it is irregular. So we have got 3, 1 by 3 of squares. So it, the area comes to be 1 square kilometer. Now we will add up all. We will add the complete squares 2 by 3. Uh, then we will also add up the squares which are half and then 1 by 3. So we have added all the area comes to be 19.3 square kilometer. So this is how we measure the area of irregular pattern by using grid square method.